ain't been switch. broke in a minute. Nah, nah, I tryna run these digits. Nah, nah, Put my little bro on the pin. Nah, nah, we hop out the car with extensions. Nah, nah, these niggas be pistols, they switchin'. Nah, 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 Playin' with bro, then you go on the mission. Me and my niggas, we all on the mission. Focus on money, ain't worry about bitches. All right, y'all, so we are back with Onyx versus Team Flash, man. Let's get straight into it. Okay. So it's a mid lane Barretts as we expected. Oh, Woo. what? How did you even expect yeah. that? I didn't see that coming. Well, I think this comp, I would probably say I like, I like Kyrie's comp better, man. Nana is crazy right now in this meta. Then you got the Ruby extra CC, and then Kyrie, like Kyrie on Assassin is just crazy at all times, man. It's just, it's a lot of CC over there. Now, Barat is hard to kill, but is that enough? Like, I don't know if Barat with the Angela is enough because, I mean, they got a lot of CC and, and Nana can help burst them down. It's like, what is, what is he gonna do? He can get transformed, get hit by the Nana, and that's really their main front line. It's like it's no one that can really survive getting hit by, by um, Onik. I don't, I don't know. I, it looks like I, I would I would say Onik has the better comp here. I like Onik's comp better personally. Um, yeah, like usually the Angela, the Angela and the Barad is strong, but mm, I don't I don't think so. I like Onik's yeah, better. I don't think that uh, I don't think that Hades. Oh, sorry, I don't think that Team Flash will want to go for the Barats in the jungle because, like I said, it's quite slow. Uh, mm. But if you play it from the mid lane's perspective with the Angela, you can just uh, constantly push out the mid lane, constantly just to secure this lane, then invade eventually. Because you wanna, you want to keep far your uh, Joyce farming intact, I'd say. But apart from that, Yasu, is there anything else that we can expect in the uh, early stage here from Onik? Well, so far I haven't expected something that turned out to be correct <laughs> in this game. Well, like if we spoke that's about Onik the jungler, for you. <laughs> and yeah, Onik. Okay, I'm I'm good with Onik, but Team Flash surprised me, and I, I've I've actually asked you before we even start the games, will Team Flash surprise us with a good com or like a strange composition? <laughs> will they surprise Onik? Maybe they did surprise Onik, but they definitely surprised me. Anyways, yeah. the turtle is up now at uh, minute number two, and maybe we'll see a little bit of a contest between both junglers and this matchup between two assassins, two great assassins. One of them is carry the other side. We have Hades, and right now, they will go, and they will try to go for the first turtle. Yeah, Curtizy already. Let's transform from Nana. And that, you know, the benefit of the uh, position for the mid lane Barretts is that you can be aggressive. You don't have to hold on to the Lord while Nana took his flicker and still has that passive. I think that that was that was good from Nana. That was definitely good from Nana. Kyrie's about to come up. He's probably going to steal Lord moving at that pacing. And then, yeah, like he just burned. They burned um, Diablo's flicker. So, yeah. Or, yeah. Diablo. Or ultimate. Forcing out the flicker out the sands. There is the fight. Ooh, Angela with told the you. Ultimate. Oh my goodness. Retribution. True. Coming out from uh, Karrion. What a wonderful Bravest Fighter coming out from Boots. Connecting onto two. And that means that Team Flash will lose two of their members in just a snap. What a wow. flicker play coming out from Boots. In the invade. I like it. That was really well executed. Team Onyx didn't just get two kills. They also got the Retribution and got the turret. Look at Kyrie. He's just. He's zoning Vanix. He, he's making him know for sure that this is a sure kill. Yeah. Oh, Vanix. And he got out of there Kyrie. safely? He's gonna be safe for now. He got he's out of there safely the is crazy. Get out because of his pathing. Look at that dash. And he's not wasting any opportunity right now. We'll go for the invade. You can see Kyrie. Oh, he's not mm. stopping. Not retribution connects out the JPL wow. as well. The JPL out. And Aedes will have to forego and reset. This orange mob does have the retribution. They call out to Vanix. And now finally they will catch Breather, but that's Onik with Kyrie at the helm just leading in these early stages. Three minutes in, and we can see that Kyrie already have his Hunter Strike and have his items. And also 304 with a 100% participation in the early game in a matter of four minutes with a ratio of, of a kill per minute for this assassin master we can say for sure and i can say for sure that he's one of the assassin or like the jungler assassins that can play against the utility heroes 
with his own and with his own uh, signature and taste and flavor team flash right now are trying to regroup they are trying to reach that turtle in a matter of 20 seconds just oh that's a huge goal difference 3k in the early game that's for the side crazy. of team onik and they are now applying a lot of pressure on team flash but will team flash make the bet and go for a lord steel our turtle steel that's the question right now but for me so they shouldn't take that they shouldn't take that at all they need to work on the macro just focus on the towers to focus on coming back trying to get the lane like try to get that gold differential down they shouldn't be going for turtle right now they need to be doing something else invading trying to find creeps on the map like you know they gotta they gotta bring that gold difference down they shouldn't fight far i think that's Kyrie. Oh, they fight is a mistake in a position to take that turtle safely without any contesting coming from the side of yeah. pates it's almost even level nine cartesi pops they just he's gonna die and if angela alts him angela's gonna die as well so they're feeding two kills this is unnecessary as you can see Kyrie has the turtle already like they were that he was never going to do nothing he wasn't going to make a play there and it wasn't worth the risk all you, it's four minutes in the game is still winnable but they're probably both in a die right here which is it's just bad it's the ultimate oh no, the dunk's coming on Kyrie, and he gets the retribution as well there's the punish angela with the heart guard no barats is not gonna survive in a two-man hook and look at this so Cartesi pops the ultimate oh, the look at the look at the enemies like they're just like standing around this area and then they're engaging even more like like no this is one of those situations where if he goes in and dies you just let him die you all get back to farming and doing what you have to do because yeah like you don't want to feed them even more kills coming on Kyrie, and he gets the retribution as well there's the punish angela with the heart guard no barats is not gonna survive in a two-man hook coming up from keyboy wants to go for more hades is low gets out for now jpl defending but that is on securing another objective and carries that that's the reset diablo has to pop the ultimate carry chases gets out and that's onik just taking over the map five minutes in leading five and oh five minutes again with a ratio of one kill per minute for the sky kings they are now dominating team flash Ooh. and they might even get like they're not see see what i don't like is the whole enemy team the whole blue team is in the jungle right now and for what like joy isn't even there joy is top lane split pushing trying to get pressure off the team so why are you fighting for a buff or anything else right now what they need to be doing is like trying to push up mid lane trying to rotate and invade top lane trying to do something that makes sense because standing down there is not it like so i don't think that they should all be in this this area right now to be honest it's like it's nothing there there's no gold there's no farm there's no objective there's nothing to actually accomplish there so yeah get one more kill they didn't just they, they didn't feel that it's enough taking uh, an orange buff from team flash but they also wanted to take the team fight they are playing so aggressive and using that early game uh, aggression that they have and are using the gold lead that they have in their favor in the bot lane look albert just took a turret without any problems whatsoever a swap happening here or a switch Ooh. lane and diablo is going off why what was so that positioning like how did he get the, there what just happened so aggressive so he's under the he's under the bottom lane turret right now early game uh, aggression that they have and are using the gold lead that they have in their favor in the bot lane look albert just took a turret without why would he push through the jungle i don't know why why he would push through the jungle diablo no any problems whatsoever a swap happening here or a switch Ooh. lane and diablo is going off and even with a quick sand guard there's nothing that can stop three members of onik to take out a lead disastrous mm. early stage instead of team flash cartesi boots bob said he told us welcome to keyboy keyboy life steals his way out no he survived keep up with the kill they thought they could kill him, but because of Keyboys, just stay in the ability. Albert! Gets out. And Albert, under the turret, take it out. Here's the joy with the Angela. They got baited, baited into a whole nother fight, man. They got baited into another fight. Like, you just got to give certain towers, man. Albert! Gets out. 
and Albert under the turret. Take it out. Here's the joy with the Angela. Look at Albert with the purified things on <laughs> TC. Yeah, they're trying to fight too much, man. Like, they need to be focusing on... Like, look, it's creeps up in the jungle right now. It's creeps up in their jungle. They need to be trying to go to, and push lanes. The top lane is still kind of fine. Like, it's, they should have multiple people pushing that lane. Like, it's things they can do. It's plays that they can make, but it's like they're just trying to go for fights. They're trying to defend against something they can't defend against, bro. The, the gold difference is just too high right now. Spends a lot of damage from both Gary and Albert. <laughs> Forward. Whoa. Rivals in the jungle roll now teammates for Onik combining for a kill onto the Barretts. Well done from Onik. One kill after another and one turret after another. Hades is forced to use his electrifying beast just to stay alive, just to stay away from Kyrie and his damage, his tremendous and hilarious damage at this moment. Again, keeping that one kill per minute ratio and also taking one it up top and also in the mid lane and again in the bot lane the 7000 gold difference is crazy that they're, they're all of them is gathered around a red buff trying to take the red buff turtle is top right now what they could be doing and should be doing is trying to push bottom all group up and try to push bottom like you need to start getting some objectives on the map man like maybe invade take these two uh, monsters right here take those take that like, they should be trying to, you know, do something to bring down this gold lead. But they're, they're just standing around waiting for the enemies to attack them as if they're going to win some type of fight. Like, no, with this type of gold lead, they can dive you every single time. Team Onik are playing such a dominant match for almost... There, there's seven minutes right now, and Team Flash didn't show up and didn't, didn't show up on the Turtles, didn't show up their drafting potential. Team Flash needs to find solutions. Either it was uh, individual solutions or a team effort. I mean, I, and I didn't even pick up on the fact that the uh, Barat was mage, like was the, the mid laner. Like that, that wasn't a great decision from the start. So you got a Joy jungle and Barat mid is, that was weird. Cause now you don't have that. I mean, you don't really got that burst magic like that. You know, it's like, uh, where do you see Anana this aggressive? Look at Sansa's positioning. That's <laughs> how far they, uh, they are ahead. And they know that there's no punish. There's no luck. Look at Albert. Dash, apart from maybe the Daytona's welcome, but that will not be enough. Everybody's just bold wow. inside of Onik. They're overconfident and they have the right to do so because Team Flash, they don't have anything to fight them uh, to fight them with. They have zoned them behind their inhibitor turrets in a matter of eight minutes. Look at Flicker. Ooh. Nice.